praise the Lord, my brother and sister. Good morning, wherever you are. It's a beautiful day that the Lord has blessed us with. And I know, just like me, you are always expecting and anticipating that the Lord will do great things to you. I always love saying, and I say to this day, that every time I come before the Lord, I have an expectation that He will do something great. It didn't part to become bad is the expectation we have. Today I'm talking about eye on the price. Eyes on the price. And this is from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, that says this. Having our eyes fixed on Jesus, the guide and end of our faith, who went through the pains of the cross, not caring for the shame because of the joy which was before him, and who has now taken his place in the right hand of God's seat of power. Having your eyes fixed on Jesus, having your eyes fixed on the price. My dear friends, if you remember very carefully this old story, we've all heard about it before. When Christ is walking on water and he calls on, and Peter says, Lord, if it is you, call me out. And the Lord calls Peter out and Peter jumps out of the water and runs towards Christ and Peter walks on water. And Peter is successfully walking on water at the, to, the, to the extent at which he's looking at Christ. The moment he takes his eyes off the price, the, the price was what? The price wasn't walking on water. The price was, I want to come to you. He said, Master, if it is you, then call me to you. And that was the price. The price was him coming to where Christ is. Many a times, normally judge Peter for walking on water and drowning. But the, but the key thing here was not the walking on water that, um, walking on water that he may drown or not drown. The key thing was his eyes were on Christ. He wanted to come where Jesus is. Now, my dear friends, the beautiful thing of having your eyes on the prize is even when your humanity comes, when your humanity jumps in, Jesus in his goodness will always reach out to you and cover the remaining distance. Because when Peter is coming towards that place of intimacy, running towards Christ, keeping his eyes on the prize, my prize is our relationship with you. My prize is I want to be there with you. Peter did not say, but the miracle I want is I also want to walk on water just like you. No. Peter said, I want to come where you are. I want to be where you are. And if this water is an obstacle, you will deal with whatever obstacles that need for us to come there. Now, on a different day, I'd put a very long sermon based on that. But today, I want to focus on one thing. That keep your eye on the price. The price is Christ. Keep focused on Jesus. If you focus on Jesus and your humanity comes up, your humanity manifests where you have doubt, where you have fear, where you have worry, where you have anxiety, because he was the one you wanted initially, Jesus will always meet you before you drown. He will always come to you before you drown. He'll always reach out and send help, and at times be the help before you sink. My dear friend, if the miracle is about walking on water, Peter would have said, give me the power and the anointing to walk on water. His desire is to be where Christ is. If you desire to be where Christ is, this day, if your whole desire is to be where Jesus is, is to be at his feet, when your humanity arises, Jesus will protect your humanity. No matter what we say, history will always record that two men walked on water, Jesus and Peter. The miracle of Peter walking on water is a byproduct of his desire to be where Jesus is. What is Victor saying this morning? That if you desire to be where Christ is, you will do extraordinary things in your life as a byproduct. And even in those extraordinary things that you do, when your humanity will appear, Jesus will be there to protect you. He'll be there to save you. He'll be there to keep you from falling. My dear friends, there's always a supernatural move of God in your life when you desire to be where Jesus is. Today tell Jesus, I'm not leaving your side. Wherever I am, Lord, wherever you are, wherever I am is wherever you are. Wherever you are is wherever I am. I want to be where you are. Let the byproduct of this surprise me. Let the byproduct of this, Lord, be a mystery to me. Because Peter desired Jesus so much that he didn't even realize he was not on land, that he was on water. His desire was so, so, so focused on Jesus that he quickly jumps out of the boat like a man possessed and runs towards the love of his life. When you can do that, there will always be a byproduct of a supernatural move of God. Do you want a supernatural move of, of God this day? Then sit at the feet of Jesus. Tell Jesus, my eyes are on you. Even if I drown, my eyes remain on you. Even if I want to lose hope, 
my eyes remain on you. Even when I'm in pain, my eyes remain on you. You are my ultimate price. It counts for nothing if my business thrives and I don't have you. It counts for nothing if my, you know, if my marriage thrives and I have nothing. It counts for nothing, Jesus. If I get all these things, I don't get you. Me running on water is not the problem. The problem is, do I get you when I finish running on water? Are you there to hold my hand when I finish running on water? That is the question. Keep your eye on the price. Let the miracles of your life become a byproduct and not the main event. And there, my dear friend, you'll be surprised as to what miracles are installed today. In fact, some of you will testify today just by simply sitting next to Christ. Let us pray. I thank you, Father, for the gift of life and the gift of your Holy Spirit. Lord, it is not easy to keep our eyes on you. It is not easy to keep our eyes on the price. Our humanity, Lord, is a problem at times. Our humanity, Father, at times is our limitation. But you understood this. And that's why you gave your son, Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, I ask you for my sister or my brother watching me this video today. But, Father, you may meet them at that place, Lord, of their humanity. But, Lord, as they pursue you, as they pursue your, as they pursue your heart, may miracles follow them, Lord. May there be byproducts of powerful miracles happening in their lives from this moment. Because, Father, in the name of Jesus, they chose, Almighty Father, to move close to you, to desire you. And when you desire you, Lord, nothing is impossible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Nothing is impossible, my dear friends, if we just put our eyes on Jesus. There will always be a supernatural move of God. Have a blessed day. See you next time.